Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of 9 in 9 with Sunderland. Today we take on Huddersfield at the John Smith Stadium. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, Callum Wilson has arrived at the football club. We'll take a look at that shortly, as well as the results we've had since we were last together. Don't forget if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's meet Callum Wilson, shall we? So our search for a striker is at an end. Callum Wilson is the man, 34 years old now. Was at West Ham. We have got him for 2.1 million pounds. Now, you might balk at that price. Finishing a 15, pace of 12, natural fitness of 16. If he can stay fit, which I'm really hoping he can, his injury record, touch wood, isn't too bad. 79 goals in 129 appearances for West Ham. 181 goals in 411 appearances all told. If we are going to get promotion back to the championship at the first time of asking, Callum is going to play a big part in it. But we've done all right without him so far. 3-0 win over Doncaster in the first round of the Carabao Cup. Ortega, Johnson and Potts with the goals. We managed to squeak past crew Felix Demetra with the only goal of the game. But my mind was finally made up that we needed another striker after a draw with Peterborough. Just didn't have the quality in front of goal on the day. But yet we managed to make it through to round three of the Carabao Cup. Potts, Thompson and Ortega seeing off Stoke City. And our reward for getting through to round three is Queen's Park Rangers at Loftus Road or the Cayenne Prince Foundation Stadium as it's known these days. And a real chance to potentially make it through to round four and knock out another championship side. In League One, we have lost our 100% record, but the unbeaten start is still there after three games. Seven points from them. Portsmouth and Wigan lead the way with a 100% record. Bradford, Reading and ourselves are on seven, Grimsby on six, Forest Green and a clutch of size down to 14th place on four with Huddersfield in that pack as well, also on four. Down the bottom, Shrewsbury are the only side without a point so far. Everybody else one, two and three as the league table. It's very early, not even the end of August, but there is a big statement to be made today. If we can beat potential Promotion rivals Huddersfield in their own backyard. That will hopefully lay down a marker. Let's see the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. Huddersfield start with streaking goal. McNamara, Knight, Davis, Pring, Batty, Deli, Bashri, Weir, Dembele, Holland with Sam Gallagher up front. We start with Walton in goal. Helek, Southam, Medley, Wilson, Gregari, Sibley, Grimes, Johnson, Henry with Hardy up front. Callum Wilson is on the bench. Let's get him to build his fitness up first of all before we throw him in at the deep end. He may well come on at some point. Big game this one. Can we get anything from Huddersfield Town? Let's see. It's raining in Yorkshire. I believe it always does. I have been told. I've never actually seen it myself. Knight with the ball. Plays it out to McNamara. Back into Knight. First big test for us really today. Can we see it off? Sibley plays it into Wilson. Looking for Johnson. Pring will pick it up, though. Comes down the field. Gallagher plays it back into Batty. Deli Bashri rolls it through to Dembele. Good block. Get out. We are far too deep. Deli Bashri rolls it through. Southam sends it back to Walton. We should be able to get rid of that. Sends it out to Healy. Looking for Wilson. Chance for us to come. Not sure why they showed us that as a highlight. Throw in. Regari with the throw. Into Grimes. Goes back into Medley. Grimes again. Swings it. Looking for Brennan Johnson. Will he get a shot away? He will. Tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper. Now for a corner. Come on, Brennan. It is going to be a corner kick to us. And Regari's going to take it. Ball into the area. Looking to the back post. Headed away by Gallagher. Get a bit of encouragement on the field. It's a goal kick. Walton into Southam. Onto Medley. Coming down that left-hand side. Still going. Unchallenged. Henry looking for Brigani. Hardy's on his way into the centre. Henry picks it up. Plays it back into Medley. Chipping it forward to Hardy. He's offside. Good save. 
by the keeper, but yeah, flag has gone up. Pagani, down in the corner, falls over. Didn't look like much of a foul to me. Danny McNamara has been given a yellow card as a result of it, though. So we'll take that. Can we score from the free kick is the question. We're about to find out. The ball chipped in. Southam, oh, off the bar and over. Unlucky. Wilson with the throw. We're starting to assert ourselves on the game. Johnson, back into Wilson. Sibley, back into Johnson again. Goes back into Wilson. Towards the far post, Henry tries to rise. Knight beats him to it. Holland picks it up. Looking for Gallagher. Man open on the left. Gallagher goes towards Weir. We've had to come back and we've found our shape pretty well. Very good. Batty. Looking over the top for Weir. No one's following him. Plays it through to Gallagher. Back through to Holland. But he's rolled it wide of the post. Good move from Huddersfield though. Thankfully nothing came of it. Davis in towards Knight. Trying to come away. Delhi Bashri. Trying to go around the outside to McNamara. Got to stop the cross. Ball does come into the centre. Gallagher rises. Good save from Walton. And that is half time. Huddersfield nil. Sunderland nil. We've had the better of it. Just need to find the back of the net. It might not be long before we see Callum Wilson for his debut. We'll see. Southam. Into Sibley. Back into Helic. Onto Sibley again. Grimes through to Hardy. Nice football around the centre of the park, but we need to penetrate if we can. Batty's picked the ball up. I have a change in the wide areas. The two lads are not performing as I would have hoped. Henry's playing the worst out of the two of them, so let's make a change as we approach the hour. It's a shame. I was looking forward to seeing what he could do. Russell Henry has not done a lot. And Max Thompson is going to come on. He's going to go out to the right. Brendan Johnson's going to go out on the left. Might be a case we move Hardy out to where Johnson is and bring on Mr. Wilson coming down the field. He's being allowed to run by the Huddersfield players. He finds Brigani. Can he find a ball over? He goes back into Johnson. Brigani once more. Back into Johnson. Grimes. All very tippy tappy. Needs to go into the box. There it is towards Thompson. He rises. Saved by the keeper. 23 minutes to play. It is Callum Wilson time, folks. Brennan Johnson's on a 6.2. He's had a shocker. The Hardy's going to go out to the left-hand side. And we are going to bring on our new main man. Fingers crossed. Switch him to a poacher. That's what he likes to do. I'm not adverse to that. Get the ball in the back of the net, Callum. That's all I ask. Just keep the football. Medley into Sibley. Grimes again. All very tippy-tappy, but we are keeping the football, and that's the main thing to do at nil-nil. Try and force the mistake if we can. Davis picks it up. Schmidt sends it down the field. Medley picks it up again. Looking for Callum Wilson. This time he controls it. Looking for Thompson. He's inside the penalty area. The angle is tight. He will have to come back, surely. Callum Wilson on the edge of the box. Whoa, that was his moment. Plays it into Sibley. That's going to be intercepted. Trying to force it. Just keep going. Get a bit more encouragement on the field. Come on. Final 15 minutes. One goal is probably going to be enough by the looks of it. Let's have a look at one final change with a few minutes on the clock. It's going to be Ryan Hardy to come off. Going to send Ortega on. Going to have to go and play out on the left-hand side. Doesn't like it, but needs must. Into five additional minutes. It's going to be a late, late show if anyone's going to get it. It's going to be a corner. In the last dying seconds. Brigani with the ball in. Helic rises. There we go. Goodness me. I thought we were going to end up with a goalless draw. Michael Helic has won the game. In added time. Whew. The Feders win not exactly setting the goal scoring charts alight. But we're winning football matches. And that's all that matters. 1-0. Right at the last. That sends us into the top two as it stands. And we are over time, referee. I know we've got to add time on. Bring. Trying to look over the top. And that is full time. Huddersfield nil. Sunderland won. Thank you for staying with it. We have picked up a massive three points there. Mikkel Helic with the goal in the dying seconds. You've got to love football for that.
So as I mentioned, that takes us into the top two, but we are only four games into the season. There is a very, very long way to go within it. We are going to make some headway. Let's take a look and see what we're going to do next time. So we're going to see the rest of the transfer window when we come back at the start of October for the game with Bradford City. So we'll take on Doncaster in the EFL Trophy, Tranmere, Shrewsbury, Rotherham, Queen's Park Rangers in the third round of the Carabao Cup before an away trip to Morecambe before we head to Bradford. And hopefully things have started to gel together a bit more. Yes, we're scoring goals. We're not winning football matches by a lot. That is our third 1-0 win of the season already in the league. We're doing fine in the Cup. Two 3-0 wins in the Carabao Cup so far. Can we start to replicate the Cup form in the league? Let's find out, shall we, next time around when we take on Bradford City. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, to please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.